Hi there, welcome to Sterling's Global. My name is Jay, and I'm one of the specialists in Sterling's Global, a UK-based accounting firm specializing in traditional business and e-commerce. Our discussion for today will be about operating a UK limited company as an Australian citizen. First, let us answer, what is a limited company? In the UK, a limited company is a business structure separate from its owners. This means that the company itself is responsible for any debts or liabilities it incurs, rather than the owners being personally liable. The next one is setting up a limited company. This is relatively simple and can be done online through company's house. They may request some basic information along the process such as the company name, registered address, and details of the company directors and shareholders. As a non-UK resident, you may also need to appoint a UK-based agent to act on your behalf. This could be a solicitor, accountant, or another authorized professional. Once you have set up your limited company, let us talk about complying with UK laws and regulations. This encompasses filing your annual accounts with Companies House, submitting tax returns to HM Revenue and Customs or HMRC, and registering for value added tax or VAT should you exceed a certain threshold. As a non UK resident, note that you will most likely be under different tax rules than UK residents. For example, you can be subject to withholding tax on dividends or other income earned from your UK company, while UK citizens are not. Consider speaking to a tax advisor to make sure you understand your obligations and are not caught out by unexpected tax bills. After these technicalities, we will focus on how to operate your UK-based business. Managing your company remotely. If you aim to start operating your business while still in your home country, you may need to manage it remotely. You can do this by relying on technology and communication tools to keep in touch with your team and manage your business smoothly. The tools you will use should be able to handle video conferencing, project management, and cloud-based storage. Furthermore, when choosing what systems and software to use, you must consider factors such as security, reliability, and ease of use. In addition, you may need to invest in training and support for your team to ensure that they are comfortable using the tools and systems you choose. The UK-Australia Relationship As an Australian citizen, wanting to establish a limited company in the UK, you may gain insights into understanding the relationship between the two countries. The UK and Australia have a solid historical and cultural connection and significant economic ties. To further elaborate, these two countries share a free movement agreement that allows their citizens to freely travel and work in each other's countries. You can use this fact to your advantage, especially if you want to personally manage your business in the UK. It can make navigating the legal and regulatory requirements easier. Marketing your business in the UK as a business owner, you should also be aware of how to promote the products and or the services you offer in the UK market. You can easily build your customer base and establish your brand once you do an effective marketing strategy for your business. You can use a range of marketing channels including social media, search engine optimization, and paid advertising among others. Although you need to be aware that the UK market may have different cultural norms and preferences than the market in your home country. Thus, you should do your research and understand your target audience before launching your marketing campaigns. Building relationships with customers and suppliers. As a new player in the market, having strong relationships with your UK customers and suppliers can lead to your business's success. This is especially true when you only have limited established networks or contacts. You can do this by attending networking events and trade shows to meet potential customers and suppliers, learn about the UK market, and build your brand. And that's it for operating a UK limited company as an Australian citizen. 
Ultimately, the key to having a successful business is to be adaptable, flexible, and open to learning. Take the time to understand the UK market, build relationships with customers and suppliers, and invest in the right tools and systems to manage your business effectively. You may also consider consulting a UK accountant to further guide you on smoothly operating your limited company while complying with the relevant laws and regulations. Let us answer your frequently asked questions or FAQs about how to operate a UK company for Australian citizens before we finally end. Number 1. What are the advantages of setting up a UK limited company for Australian citizens? Some of the benefits of a UK limited company are limited liability protection, tax efficiency, easier access to funding, access to a well-established business environment, and increased brand recognition. Number 2. How much does it cost to set up and operate a UK limited company? We do not have the exact amount to share, but we know that the costs entailed with it can be hefty, especially for non-UK citizens. The costs can vary depending on different factors such as the nature and scale of the business, the services you require, and the support you need. It is essential to budget for these costs, and you may also want to seek professional advice from an accountant to ensure that you're managing your finances effectively. Number 3. Do I need to hire a local accountant or lawyer to operate my UK limited company as an Australian citizen? While it is not a legal requirement, hiring a local accountant or lawyer can help ensure that you comply with the UK tax and legal regulations and manage your company effectively. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. We hope our video helped you gain more knowledge on operating a UK limited company as an Australian citizen. For more professional advice on your tax accounting needs, consult us by visiting the Sterlings Global website at sterlingsglobal.com. If you enjoy our content and want to learn more about similar topics, please like and subscribe to our channel. To stay updated, why don't you have a look at our other social media platforms? The links are in the description below. Once again, I am Jay from Sterlings Global and I will see you in the next video.